All right, so I thought it would be kind of funny and fun to kind of show you my CD collection, or at least some of it, because like I have a bunch of CDs right here, but I don't really listen to them, and I think most people don't really listen to CDs anymore. It's more of like a decoration. So anyway, I thought it would be kind of fun to like take you down memory lane kind of thing, and then show you some of my CDs I don't listen to. All right, let's do it. So this is uh, my CD collection, and that's also my sword. There's a sword right there. All right, so let's get into the, actually I should probably talk about the sword. Just because it's right there and it's kind of, that's the word, kind of uh, distracting. So I got this sword from a coworker of mine um, when I was working at Giant. And he just got this for me, it was really unexpected. I'm not gonna say his name, but we'll call him like, uh, like Jarl Axel. <laughs> call him Jarl Axel. So Jarl Axel got me this sword and I was like, he came into work and it was, um, he had this big long package that sounded weird he had this long package and it was wrapped in uh, a sheet or whatever and I was like what the fuck is that and then he said you can't open it until you go home and so I went home and I opened it and I was like it's a freaking sword what the hell and it was honestly like one of the coolest presents I've ever gotten it was so cool and I remember the feeling of wielding it you like that word wielding so I remember the feeling of wielding it for the first time and like I felt so powerful and it was awesome so yeah thank you Jarl Axel <laughs> thank you Jarl Axel that's his real name all right so let's get into the actual topic of this uh, video yeah a lot of these CDs actually like this one is a gift from my dad from a little while ago as you can tell by all the dust I listened to it <laughs> As you can tell by all that dust, um, I listen to these CDs all the time. So what is this? This is um, Concrete Blonde, and he got this for me because he said that he thought that the singer sounded like the singer from my band, Pravda. And she kind of does, I can kind of see it, you know. Um, that's about it. <laughs> it's not exactly my kind of music, he just got it for me for that reason. But uh, I appreciate the thought. You know. All right. What else is there? What else is in this thing? I take such good care of these CDs. Now here's the other one. Obviously, I listen to this all the time. Just got all the all the dust. Look at that dust. Damn. All right. So this is what is this? Larry Coriel, another gift, and uh, from my dad. And it's called the Eleventh House. And this is kind of like a jazz fusion guitar thing, which I typically do like. But for some reason, this one, I was like, yeah, it didn't really resonate that much. But it's one of those things where, like, I have an immense appreciation for it. Because the musicianship is really amazing, honestly. Cool. What's the next one? This is, oh, um, Joe Satriani, Super Colossal. So I just kind of burned this, I guess, and made my own thingy. It's a cool CD. I actually really like the CD. Super colossal. I love Jess Hatriani. He's a great, great guitarist. One of my favorites. What is the next one? He has a lot of CDs that I made myself, too. Another one of those things that was a gift from my dad. And this is uh, Ma... How do you pronounce that? How do you think you pronounce that? Mahavishnu Orchestra, The Lost Strident Sessions. So, I'm pretty sure this has John McLaughlin in it, who is like a really, really great guitarist, kind of, what is he, kind of like jazz, flamenco-ish type stuff. It's really interesting and awesome. I would highly recommend him. He's amazing. I'm not sure if we're going to get through all of my CDs, but we'll get through at least some. All right. Joe Satriani, Crystal Planet. This is one of my favorite CDs of all time. It is amazing. It's just a perfect album. There's not many albums that I can say that I think are perfect. This is perfect. This is just an amazing album. Joe Satriani, amazing. You can't go wrong. But this album is just freaking awesome. Highly recommend it. Crystal Planet. <laughs> this is kind of fun. All right, what's the next one? Baby metal. <laughs> oh man, this is fun. This is just, I'm basically, I'm not even going through CDs, I'm going through memories. That's essentially what it is, because I don't even listen to this stuff anymore. But like, each thing has its own memory. And I'm literally just like seeing these all for the first time right now because I never go through them. So this is like almost as surprising for me as it is for you, sort of. Anyway. Baby metal. So I went to a baby metal show for the first time uh, last year with my friend. And he invited me. 
and I was like, yeah, I want to go. And they're really, really cool. Very interesting. Um, yeah, and they gave him a free CD, apparently. Um, or a bunch of free CDs because he, like... I forget what the situation was. I guess he, like, bought tickets or he won tickets or something. But anyway, yeah, he got this free CD. And, yeah, Baby Metal's pretty great. They're definitely very different, very unique. It took me a little bit to get into them because of the voices, the, the tone, it, you know, obviously, if you know what Baby Metal sounds like. But after I got past the initial surprise, I was like, these actually are really good songs. They're really good. Good man. Paul Gilbert. I love this guy. Okay, get out of my yard. I got the CD when I was like 17, and I was really, really into him at that time. I still really like his stuff. I'm just not like, you know, I don't like love, love his stuff anymore, but I still think he's an amazing guitarist. And this is an awesome album as well. I would totally check it out. I'm gonna put it over here now so it's not like as awkward because I was holding it very strangely. Okay, that feels better. <laughs> Queen Drake. Great, great, great album. Operation Mind Crime. Really like this album a lot. I also got this when I was like 14 or 15. This was actually like around the time where I was just starting to get into like Dream Theater and um, all that kind of stuff. And I was experimenting and I was going out and like buying actual albums because that's what you had to do back in the day and i think i went to like best buy or something and i got this album because this was recommended to me i actually yeah i asked someone for like his top five recommendations for his favorite albums or something and this is one of the ones that he suggested and it is a really great album and i personally feel like the songs on this album are so good that even now i've listened to this so many times countless times all these songs and they never get old because the songs are so freaking good and the singer jeff tate amazing it's just a really great band great album totally recommend it um it's kind of like prog rock 80s type stuff if you're not uh, familiar with queen drake but yeah very very good album and it's a concept album and i love concept albums i love like cds with a story i think that's really cool Illuminata. This is another one of those random things that was a gift, and honestly, I've never really listened to it that much. But it does have one song on here that I thought was cool, and it's um, this is a cover of the Sound of Silence by uh, whatever Simon and Garfunkel, and I really like that song in general. And this is a really cool cover of it, whatever this is, Illuminata, Volume Two. It's like some weird ass looking guitar and flute thingy. That's as much as I can say about that. <laughs> this is a blank case. So there you go. Okay. Oh yeah. Dimmu Borger and Throne Darkness Triumphant. This is a good CD. Um, probably got this when I was like 17 as well. A lot of these I probably got when I was around 17, 15, that kind of era. Um, really cool album for sure. I like Dimmu Borger a lot, and uh, there's some really great songs on here, like In Death's Embrace, which I obviously cover on my channel, if you checked it out. And uh, number seven, which my friend uh, wonders if it's pronounced <laughs> Entrance or Entrance. It's kind of up for interpretation. I kind of think Entrance sounds cooler, so it's probably that, because it's Dimmu Borger, and they're all mysterious and cool like that or whatever. But maybe it's Entrance. Maybe it's something boring like that. Who knows? Ooh, Rodrigo e Gabriela. This is a really cool band. I found out about these guys when I was like 20, 21, something like that. Uh, my friend, no, 23, anyway. My friend uh, told me about them. He came over and showed me these guys. And this is kind of like, if you're not familiar, um, obviously two people, I'm pretty sure the brother and sister. I could be wrong. But they're kind of like Spanishy um, acoustic guitarists. And they actually started out as a metal band, which is pretty interesting. And they said that they would play, um, like, weddings, like, music at weddings. And they would play metal songs, like Slayer and stuff, but they would play in, like, a Spanish-y kind of way. And no one was able to tell the difference. No one was like, oh, wait a second. They just thought it was, like, authentic Spanish music from what I heard. I thought that was pretty funny. But, yeah, these are really good, really good musicians. I saw them live one time. Freaking amazing live totally recommend seeing them live they're great really good band 
Okay, Michelangelo Badio. Uh, Lucent Intervals and Moments of Clarity, Part 2. This is a really cool CD. Love Michelangelo Badio. He's really great. I've been taking, um, or I've been watching his free lessons on YouTube, and I feel like they're some of the best lessons I've ever gotten. And I feel like I'm a better guitarist just in the past, like, couple weeks that I've been watching his lessons on YouTube. Just a little, you know, little thing, in case you were wondering. But this is a cool CD. I also probably got this when I was, like, 16, something like that, and I was really getting into the whole shredding kind of thing. And so I was really excited about this and how he's, like, one of the fastest guitarists ever, and he's just extremely technical and awesome. Let's see some of my favorite songs on here, probably Full Force, really like that one, uh, Prague, China, stuff like that. Yeah, he's awesome. Definitely check him out if you haven't. All right, Load by Metallica. You know what? Honestly, I haven't really listened to this one that much. I only really like Load, and I haven't really... I haven't really given the other ones much of a chance, and the other ones that I listened to, I wasn't really that big of a fan of. Um, I think I kind of prefer older Metallica a little more than uh, later Metallica. I guess like post Black Album. Um, I like a little bit of the stuff from Death Magnetic, and like a few of the songs from the last album, but most of it I really just like uh, their older older songs but i do like um i like fuel i'm pretty sure fuel's on this album is it oh shit fuel's not even on this album why do i have this i don't even oh i don't think i like any songs on this album i guess this is also a gift um yeah i don't like any of the songs on this album <laughs> cool but i'm still gonna keep it because it's part of my collection you know what i mean i'm yeah if anyone wants this I'll, like, send it <laughs> to you for free or something. <laughs> no offense. I mean, whatever. To each their own. It's just, I, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to be the last one because there are so many and we only have so much time in a video. Tec sort of. Ah, whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Permanent Waves by Rush. This is my favorite Rush album. <laughs> I love this album. This is great. Really great songs. Um, I covered... Jacob's Ladder on my channel if you want to check it out if you haven't yet. It is my favorite Rush song, Jacob's Ladder, if you can see that. And just like, yeah, every song on this album is really great. Natural Science is freaking awesome too. Like really, I just love the really proggy kind of epic ones. Spirit of Radio, obviously, that's a really great one. Yeah, anyway, Permanent Leaves, that's a great, great album. That was interesting, little vlog type thing. And uh, if you're interested in more guitar-related tips, or uh, I mean, that was kind of like a vlog type thing, but if you're interested in more vlogs like this, or like guitar tips or performances, I do that kind of stuff all the time, if you want to check that out as well. And I'll, I do that uh, every single week. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you're interested. All right, I'll see you later in like the next vlog or whatever. See so you, have a good one.